didn't deserve this. She was a great girl. She really was. A fun, loving girl. She did not deserve anything like this. She had plans. She had a future ahead of her. A good head on her shoulders, and she just didn't deserve this. Justice for Dariana. Officials in the Twin Cities are investigating after a girl was fatally shot late Thursday in Columbia Heights. Police in the northern Twin Cities suburbs say that officers responded shortly before midnight to the call of the incident. Officials identified the victim as 15-year-old Dariana Davis of Columbia Heights. It was like everything just sank. She's 15. Like what happened? What happened? Dariana Davis was 15 years old and lived in Columbia Heights. She was a high school student at Columbia Heights High School, and according to her school and mother, she was a very bright student. Dariana was described as a fun and loving girl that had a plan and a future ahead of her. Just like bright, very smart, got good grades in school, a good friend. She's the star. <laughs> She's a bright child. Dariana was the oldest of four children. Friends and family says that she had dreamed of one day becoming a lawyer. According to reports, on Thursday, March 24th, 2022, Dariana and a few classmates met up to hang out at an apartment complex. However, her mother was unaware. It's unclear what all happened at this apartment. Sadly, her friends and family were only left with a call saying that their loved one had been shot. I haven't been asleep since the police knocked on the door. It's a lot of different stories going around and they all minors, so they're just trying to figure it out. This evening, police are searching for the person who shot and killed a 15-year-old girl. It happened late last night in Columbia Heights. Derry Anna Davis was a student at Columbia Heights High School. According to reports, on that Thursday night, March 24th, 2022, Dariana met up with some classmates at a Columbia Heights apartment. Details weren't shared to the public about what happened within the apartment. However, during her time in the complex, Dariana was allegedly shot by a male teen. I haven't been asleep since the police knocked on the door. Says she was here visiting with friends. Schoolmates, all schoolmates. After going to get her hair done Thursday afternoon. It's a lot of different stories going around and they all minors, so they're just trying to figure it out. At 11.57 p.m., members of local police departments in the area were called to the scene for a report of a person being shot. When officers arrived, they found a girl identified by the sheriff as 15-year-old Dariana Davis and performed life-saving measures. Sadly, not long after, Dariana was pronounced deceased at the scene. According to reports, two juveniles were questioned at the scene but released. It's been alleged that the suspect fled the scene before the police could arrive. Columbia Heights Public Schools made a statement about the tragic loss. School officials say they are working with investigators and providing support for Dariana's family and classmates during this time. It was alleged that one of the suspects did in fact turn themselves in. However, at the time of this post, police stated no arrests have been made and the investigation into Dariana's case is still ongoing. A crisis team was placed at Dariana School to help students grieving over the tragic loss. The health and safety of our students is our utmost priority, the district said. Gun violence has been taking too many loved ones from our families, schools, and communities. We are deeply saddened by this death and we extend our condolences to the family and friends. The mayor also released a statement about this tragic loss. Her friends, family, and activists hopes justice will be served. One, two, three. I'm but a child that's being murdered like that, uh, somebody may know something within the apartment building, and they should and they need to come forward. Another day. Well, we also, Father, y'all ask you to bring forth swift judgment and justice to the family. She did not deserve anything like this. She had plans. She had a future ahead of her. 
a good head on her shoulders. This story is completely devastating. I will continue to keep her friends and family in my thoughts and prayers. Let's continue to watch our surroundings and watch those who we surround ourselves with and let's not forget to share our location with our loved ones i hope that justice will be served in this case i hope that the students will be able to tell what happened to this young girl you guys let me know your thoughts and your opinions down below thank you guys so much for watching let's please respect the victim in the comments love you guys and with that being said don't forget to check on your loved ones somebody knows something due to the fact that you know investigation may still be going on but um you know with a child that's being shot like that uh, uh, whether they're saying it's bullying or not with a child that's being murdered like that uh, somebody may know something within the apartment building and they should and they need to come forward yeah. ever shot this innocent young girl to turn yourself in do the right thing and turn yourself in so this family can get their rest and this family can get their justice. Do the right thing and turn yourself in. The gun crime that's constantly going on and surging within the community, it needs to end. It needs to cease. Thank you.